everybody, thanks for joining. If you're new here, my name is Eva and this is my channel, Fuchsia Floyd. Last week I did a video which was entitled My Seriously Silly Bags and that was inspired by Dale's Addiction. You know, bags that were maybe not very practical, but that were so, so fun. Today I'm doing sort of the opposite. It, and this video was inspired by Erin, the handbag housewife. And she did a video called her 10 most wearable bags. My interpretation of that was that they were just very practical, very easy to use, very carefree, did not require a lot of thought. They were just really worked. So I wrote to Erin and asked if it was okay if I would do a variation on that idea. And she said, of course, all these bags that I'm going to be showing you today are available for purchase now. I mean, they might be in different colors or materials, but the brands are making them today on their websites or in the stores now. Okay, this first bag that I'm going to show you is by the brand Hammett. You can see the branding is right here. It's pretty subtle. I got this bag at my local thrift store and I showed that store in one of my uh, Vlogmas uh, episodes about thrifting. This is a leather bag uh, and I know that they also make other leather bags which are very, very soft and pliable. Because of the texture of this leather, it doesn't quite have the same feel. This is the Tony style. It has this one zip pocket here, kind of not on the top of the bag, but kind of in the front, this front angle. It looks like a, a pretty small bag, but once you get down in there, you can see that you have quite quite a bit of room. I mean, in terms of a small crossbody, you have quite a bit of room here to work with. And there's a small card holder here on the back. And when you turn it on the back, it doesn't look like there's a pocket or anything, but actually there is, there's a phone pocket right here. I thought that was really cool because your phone can slip down right there. So it's a really neat design. It's, diff or it's different anyway. It has an adjustable strap and it is removable if you wanted to take those, that strap off and store it. So you might wanna check out this brand. I think they're available at, well, you can order off the Hammett website, but I saw them also at my local Dillard's. Okay, so this is my Tory Burch uh, Kira bag in the size small. So in my experience, it's been very durable and easy to use. So they still make the Kira, but I'm not sure that they still have this particular crinkled leather. As you probably already know, the Kira has this convertible strap, meaning that you can wear it as a shoulder bag or as a crossbody bag, which is what I tend to wear. So anyway, you have this uh, open space in the middle, a zip pocket on the back, and these two slip pockets here on the front wall. So yeah, I, I love the, um, the diagonal shape of the quilting as well. It's just a really good all around bag. This is the Marc Jacobs J Mark shoulder bag. If you see my channel before, you're like, oh no, not this one again. Okay, I won't talk along about it because I've done an unboxing, I've done a two week first impression, and I've done the review of where I just cut the chain, where the chain can be used as the strap for the shoulder. Though I did not, I cut it down to make it top handle. And that's what I'm referring to. I did a whole video about that. Or you can use this strap to make it, you know, shoulder or crossbody. So it's a quite a small bag. It's smaller than the Kira that I just showed. But in general, I enjoy small bags for when I'm just running around doing some errands because it keeps, I think it just helps keep the weight down when it's a small bag. You can't fill it up that much. So a great little bag. I would just wish it had a small back pocket here. That's my only complaint about this bag. I would recommend the Le Pliage and the extra small size as a great small crossbody. I've, I pulled out my nylon one here because it's great for all weather. I mean, I can't, we can't say that it's like waterproof, but it's definitely water resistant. Uh, so it's really good for a rainy day. This particular bag has the grommets here on the ears where you would attach the crossbody strap. I have not examined the current offering for the nylon uh, Le Pliage. I think it's in the energy line now, but I know that they do offer a nylon option uh, coming out from Longchamp now. And I have done a dedicated video about the uh, Longchamp Le Pliage and the MZ Wallace Micro Sutton. And of course I will link them below. MZ Wallace Micro Sutton is one of my all time favorite bags. I have it in three different colors. It's very unique in the, the way the hardware attaches uh, the hardware is attached to the bottom of the bag. Um, I won't, like I said, I won't go into too much detail here because I have done a, a dedicated video on this bag. It's very lightweight. The only weight really comes from the hardware itself. It's very similar in size and capacity to the Longchamp Le Pliage Extra Small. The difference here is the squishability. Like I've got it stuffed right now, but still you can see that it just, it folds down to like nothing. So it's very compact, foldable, 
it's good to put in a travel bag to use for when you get to your destination and you want a crossbody to take with you. I'm just gonna make myself stop talking now because I could talk forever about how much I enjoy these little bags. Okay, let's move on to Coach. Here is the Coach Swinger. It's the nylon with the leather trim. What I really like the most is this little detail here of a teeny tiny turn lock and the opening here. I'm a sucker for a teeny tiny turn lock. I am, I just can't help it. And it comes with a short strap here we could use for a shoulder bag, but I won't. Adjustable, removable, uh, longer strap where you can use cross body. It's just a really good, you know, pochette basically. By the way, this is the version that has the little flowers in the interior. This version uh, came to the Coach outlet. That's where I picked this up. I don't think it's at the outlet anymore, but uh, last time I checked, they did have a different version of the swinger at the regular Coach uh, site. So I think from what I gathered that there's always some version of the swinger available at Coach. Okay, staying on the coach theme and getting some pink in here. Yeah, this bright pink color I was really drawn to. But I like it toned down in this color block with this darker like Merlot wine color below it. I just thought it was really a beautiful color block combination. So this is the Cassie 19. It is available on the coach website now. You've got a really nice pocket in the back and, you know, good storage inside and a nice detachable and adjustable strap as well. You know how coaches, like you just never know when they, when it disappears, if it's gonna come back because the regular size Cassie is, you know, gone from coach and we're all wondering why, because it's such a popular bag. So if you're interested in the 19, I would encourage you to pick it up while it's available from coach. So this is my Furla Nets Mini. This has the largest capacity so far. I uh, got this bag on my trip to Portugal Lisbon, Portugal as my souvenir. I made a video about that and how the reason I picked it out is because of the color of the leather trim reminding me of the tile rooftops in uh, Lisbon. When I pull this tote open, you can see a lot of room down, down in here. What I like about this tote is the combination of colors. Like I love a color block and the combination of leathers. So here we have a pebbled leather on the sides. We have suede and here on the handles, it's a smooth leather. I enjoy also the the detail here of a turn lock. Now this turn lock hardware doesn't feel, you know, as significant as some of my other bags, but I just enjoy the manipulation of that. The straps are removable, so you can take that off and just use it as a hand carry bag. I like the size of these handles and that I can put it here if I, on the crook of my arm, if I want to. This bag, definitely has the largest capacity of all the crossbodies that I'm showing you today. I'm, and I'm sure some of you think it is too big to be a crossbody, but it does have the crossbody option. If you do wear a crossbody, it is going to probably feel a little bit bulky or boxy, but it is available to you if you would want to wear it that way. So this is the Coach Field Tote 22. This is my one and only Field Tote from Coach. I got it because it was puffy. I've really been in kind of in a, to a puffy quilted stage lately. I'm not sorry about that at all. So as you can see here, it's like an all black situation going on here in the, in the, um, what is this? <laughs> the branding there. And this got the, the puffy tag and the puffiness goes all the way around and there are feet on the bottom. The straps are pretty small and short, but you can fit them in like this. It's very handy like that you can just chuck things in goodness i've got some crumbs down in there but it's just a black box basically but you can see the contrast leather there is like this tan and that's repeated here in the web strap even though this particular bag isn't available right now from coach um field tote 22 is in other finishes other colors other materials it's there okay so these are some of my most wearable bags they're easy, they're carefree. They are available now in different configurations if you were interested in purchasing one, or even if not, I hope you enjoyed watching the video and just hearing about how, how much I've enjoyed using them. I just enjoy them all so much. And I enjoy sharing them with you. And I hope that if you're researching a bag that this might give you some information. And by the way, if there's any bag that you would like more information on, please let me know in the comments below because I would be, I would be more than happy to bring it back and to give more detail on it. If you would like to share some of your most wearable bags, take Erin's original video and make your own variation on it.
So thank you so much for watching. If you haven't subscribed, this would be a great time to do that. I would really appreciate your company as we go forward. So you take care and I will see you in the next one.